Hello and welcome to MyCADSAID.com. This tutorial will introduce you to wireframe models and how they're created and viewing them. And I'm just going to go through some basic um, drawing right now. I'm just going to draw a very simple 2D shape, one that you might have seen in many other uh, tutorials from my site. And it's just that basic wedge shape with a hole in the middle of it. And I'm going to make a wireframe model out of it that will give it a look of 3D and put a hole in the middle there. So that's your basic shape right there. So now what I want to do is copy them up two units in the Z direction. So I copy them at 0, 0, 2. Press enter. And now I've got two copies, one on top of the other. So I go to my southwest view and now you see that there are actually two copies. And to create the wireframe model, to finish it up, I'm just going to draw lines from corner to corner to give it some of its depth. And now you see that that kind of looks like a block with a hole in it, if you visualize it a little. And I'm just going to go into the 3D orbit command, and you'll see that as I move it around, yeah, it does kind of look like a very basic 3D model, something you'd see in a 1970s uh, sci-fi movie. So that is a wireframe model. You can see through it. It has no real depth other than the fr frames itself. And think of that as say something like a bird cage. The next one we're going to do later on in the same tutorial is a 3D wireframe model of a chair and it's just a very basic blocky one but I'll use it as uh, samples in other tutorials as well so I draw one of the arms it's a 4 by 24 inch arm and copy that one up so that I've got two arms now and so I've got that copied up and then I'm going to change over so I can draw the back and I make sure I switch to the correct layer and from that corner I'm going to draw it up at negative uh, 4 and 36 up in the Y and you'll see I miscalculated the height on the way up so I'm just going to move that arm down to the edge of the uh, back and just using the simple move command from there to there next I'm going to draw the seat make sure uh, that I've got the right dimensions in there and that's just going to be a rectangle and since I didn't change the layer first I'll put it on the correct layer now so looking at the top view that's my seat right there and the arms and the back and it's a very flat looking chair so just like the first example I'm just going to copy the arms up and they are 24 inches high so it's 0, 0, 24 and next I'm going to copy the back up which is 36 inches high oh sorry I should draw the lines in for the arms first and this starts giving it a bit more uh, of, I won't say realistic but a bit more of a correct look for the chair and there so now the arms are done they're ready to go so now I'm just going to do the same thing with the back. I copy that up at 0, 0, 34. And now that one's correct. And now I'll just make that my current layer and draw lines connecting the top and bottom of the back of the chair. And you can see, even with this very simple model, I'm starting to get a lot of lines. They're overlapping. And if you're not used to it, you can get uh, stuck. So I'm making the seat of the chair now. And it's 4 inches thick. And now I want to move both of those up 12 inches or 12 units off the floor so that I'm not sitting down low. So one last thing to do is make some lines to connect my seat corners. And just corner to corner, 
make sure you've always got your O-snaps on in 3D or things can get pretty hairy right away. And there's my chair. I've finished drawing it. So now I've gone into 3D orbit and if anyone's paying attention they should see a line that doesn't look quite right. And that's what happens when you use um, O-snaps in 3D. You don't always know exactly what you're snapping to. So using a grip edit, I've changed that, i fixed it, and there's my chair. So although it's a very basic model, it's a quick way to get it done. Um, I've used wireframe models in uh, engineering modeling for uh, stress analysis. And you never know when you might need to do it. So it's just a handy, quick way to create a 3D model. So um, you'll be drawing the chair in later tutorials um, for solids and uh, line thickness. But for now, that's wireframe models. So thanks for watching mycadsite.com. Goodbye.